These mountains are an extension of myself. Hearing the water and the wind, I feel at peace. I think that's what draws people here, right? Like they want to get away from the city, get away from the noise. First and foremost, give yourself a round of applause for waking up and showing up this morning. It's really important to continue to preserve cultura, our heritage, but also the continued effort and the importance of um, all of you all to stay active and engaged in these conversations. Your voice matters. My daughter is growing up. I encourage her to, to hike and uh, now she wanting to leap at the front and me having to try to keep up with her. <laughs> San Gabriel's have been a place for me to seek refuge um, as an immigrant coming from Guatemala for my spiritual health, my mental health. Our communities need access to this beautiful place. LA is one of the most park poor places in the country. You do have that um, unequal access to open space, to clean water, to clean air. The San Gabriel Mountains are really LA County's backyard. They're 90% of our open space. We have 18 million people directly adjacent to this open space. The San Gabriels are not only sacred lands, but they're also public lands. They belong to all of us. A lot of us don't get to explore these places and they're minutes from us. And a lot of it has to do with the historic narrative that we're not welcomed in these spaces. We want to make sure that everyone has an equitable outdoors in the future, that they feel safe. My dream would be a place where the mountains are in their community. They know it's there for them and that they can come here at any point in time in their life whenever they need to without any problems. We need each other. Together we can amplify the need to expand the San Gabriels because this is our home. It's not just about putting a sign in the soil. This is really an extension of ourselves.